Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Kabir Considers. In this video, I'm going to react to US Culture Shock, a Brit's first time at Home Depot. Now, we don't have Home Depot here. We've got like stores that are probably quite similar, B&Q, uh, Wix, but yeah, we don't have Home Depot. And I've always liked, like, stuff. I've, I've seen references to it. I watched um, uh, The Equalizer a few weeks ago, I reacted to it, and uh, 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 Denzel Washington's character Bob or Robert works at Home Depot so I've always wondered like what it's like there what can you get there is it basically any kind of home improvement type stuff hammers drills stuff like that so it's going to be fun to see Lawrence go there I think he's just recently got his US citizenship um, he's just bought a house I think that he's doing repairs on so it's going to be fun seeing what he thinks of the place it's probably like humongous it's probably enormous it should be fun let's do it so this is crazy to say but for the very first time in my life i'm heading to a home depot wife how do you pronounce it home depot and this should be an interesting experience i've only ever been to hardware stores in the uk at least of this size and my main experience is that of b and q which is our equivalent of these kind of big box hardware stores uh -huh. I suppose that's one of the things about owning your own house is that you are in charge of sort of the accessories that come with that house or don't come with that house as they might when you rent. So that's really why we're heading there. We need to go and get a dustpin and also a few other accessories like shelves and things like that. So it should be interesting. Hopefully we don't get lost in. Interesting. Here, if I was wanting to buy a bin and some shelves, I'd probably go to Ikea. Like you guys have definitely got Ikea in the States. Like, what, where would you go, like, for that kind of stuff, like furniture? Would you go to Ikea or Home Depot? There, I've heard that these places are absolutely huge. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, do that now! There it is. Save big ma- Oh, that's a different one, isn't it? That's Menards. Midwestern, that. But Home Depot, just like Lowe's, I think is nationwide. Is that right? All yeah. across the country, yeah. And I think you're right. Hence the American flag. Yeah, look how high these boxes go. I mean, these are clearly not for customers. It's just these rows here. Wow, this is really high. How do they get around this problem in Lowe's? Because it's called Lowe's. <laughs> I love tile and I am immediately drawn to this one, which kind of fits with our pink. We're not buying it today. We don't have time for this. We're getting really distracted. So let's get a move on. Let's go find the dust bins, trash cans. It is ginormous, man. It is absolutely huge. What have you found now? Rugs, we're at rugs now. We're not gonna <laughs> save big money. It's not Menards, I keep forgetting that. But we're not gonna get the things we need if we keep looking at rugs and stuff and tiles. But look at them. Look I at know. This one. Well, we have a plan. We made to be honest, I do like a nice rug. I do. We made a plan, we're gonna stick to it. We also already have a dining room rug, but that's not gonna stop me from petting it. <sighs> oh, we've been in here about 20 minutes and I still don't know where the dust bins are. It's massive, isn't it? I'm not seeing any signs, wife. They're all up there. Oh my gosh, yeah, the signs are really high up. So I have to arch my neck, but that's all right. They like their astroturf. I wonder how he got those aerial shots. I'm guessing he has a drone that he used. In this place, <laughs> seen a lot of it. She was thinking about getting it for the balcony. I had to talk it down from a ledge. <laughs> what? I'm gonna get it, just shh, don't tell him. We were gonna look for paint for my studio and then we realized that there's just so much paint in here and I haven't done much research into what I want that I don't wanna just, you know, plunge for something right now. So we'll wait on that. Still looking for the bins. Tell you what, I was expecting to see more men with beards and flannel shirts in here. <laughs> Not been enough of them. I'm wearing my nice coat. So basically, Home Depot is anything that you could possibly need for your home. Like, can you buy sofas from Home Depot? Like, you know, dining chairs, stuff like that? Or is it, because it seems like it's mostly anything and everything. I guess it's called The Home Depot, so yeah. Probably can. 
bins. Never really thought about this, but it's quite hard to decide how to buy a bin. I hate all of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of really yeah, bland, yeah, yeah. but they then are they are bland. just bin. You're not looking for something ornate, are you? Nothing yeah, fancy. but you have to look at it every day. I know you do, but I mean, it's just to take in the rubbish. What do you call it? Are you guys more form or function? Like, for me, I probably lean towards form. I'd say I'm maybe like 60% in the way towards form. Like, it's got to do the job, but it's got to look nice as well Ash. yeah we've done that one but still it is a hard thing to do what i will tell you is i don't want one that looks like a coffee maker it just feels <laughs> weird why does it look like a coffee that, maker that right, a, it doesn't look like they have the one we were looking for in our last apartment they had seen. one that was sort of split it was a hybrid of just regular trash and and recycling but that's all right we'll probably just get our trash can online at amazon but now we're out in the garden areas it's fun I need to buy some plants to be honest. I want to get some like little plants just to, you know, just to spice the place up a little bit. So we asked about where we could get sort of fireplace accessories and they pointed us into the garden section because they do have sort of fireplace accessories except they're for fire pits, which is, is great. We'll probably come back for that, you know, in the summer, but this isn't fireplace stuff. Home Depot, you're so huge and you don't have anything that we want. Maybe that says more about us. I think it probably does. Tile, though. Tile. There's good tile. It's good tile. It's good tile. Yeah, like everything else in America, the garden area of Home Depot feels way bigger than the equivalent of B&Q. At least the B&Q that I knew in Grimsby. So I'm going to get probably our fire stuff elsewhere. Yeah. Since they only have outdoor stuff. We're going to obviously get our trash can online because I know exactly what I wanted. I just assumed they'd have it here and they didn't. We're too particular. Uh, <laughs> and we're going to go antiquing to go and find the shelves or sideboards really is what I want. But if it has to be shelves, then it's shelves. Come on. I've got to get back. That's got to be one of the funnest things about buying a house or buying a, an apartment or whatever, like buying the furniture and stuff and making it look how you want. You've got a completely blank canvas, unless you're bringing a load of furniture from your, your old place. Like, yeah, it's got, it's got to be nice. Soon. So this antiquing thing, you're gonna have to tell me, <clears throat> shushing me, she's shushing me. It's almost like big box stores like this or Walmart or what have you are sort of like, they are the jack of all trades, but the master, master of none. none. So if you want something that's really specific, they probably won't have that, but they will have lots of things that are general to that mm. thing. And that's what we've fallen victim to. I don't want to play the victim mm. card. It's not really Home Depot's fault, but I did put a lot of trust in them and they didn't come through. So we are, we're gonna, we'll probably go to somewhere else for the things that we need. We ended up going to Target and getting ourselves a little shelving unit which looks a little bit like this in fact exactly like this because this is it to be clear that is just the box the real thing is inside are you guys good at like putting furniture together like i bought pretty much everything in this place from ikea and it all got here on the same day and i set myself the challenge of doing it on the same day so i assembled the bed the desk this desk here the main desk in the middle the desk that the tv's on what else? Probably a couple other things as well. The wardrobe. I was so exhausted by the end of the day. I, sh I should have just done it over two days. <laughs> we also had a lovely time at the antique store and bought this little contraption. I say little, it's pretty big. It's also pretty old. One of the beautiful things about it is its handles. And the reason I say that is that those handles are very recognizable to me. Because, by sheer coincidence, they are the same handles that we have on our dining room cabinet thing. Oh. And at the same antique store, we bought this. It's not a step ladder. It is, in fact, a shelving unit that hangs on the wall. Looks kind of like a foldable chair, doesn't it? Like, with that being the backrest. And that's it. And I know what you're thinking. Ooh, Lawrence, where are the fireplace accessories? Where is the dustbin? Well, we ordered them online, so for now, our dustbin is a white trash bag on a door handle. So I have done Home Depot for the first time. It might also be the last time. I doubt it. You think? Tiles. 
tiles. She does like the tiles. There were things in there that piqued my interest. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's just that we, we weren't specifically going there for those things. So in the future, we may come back. What happens if you want something from the it top seems shelf? Like Home Depot is the place for Need a big you know, ladder. If you need something quickly, you go grab it from Home Depot. That's it for this video. I'm Lawrence Brown. Fun you can video. follow me. I really want to visit Home Depot. It kind of gives me IKEA vibes or Costco vibes. It's kind of like if you got a Costco and an IKEA and you smushed it together, you'd probably get something close to Home Depot. It's probably like you get a lot of value there, you get a lot of items quite cheaply. I wonder how they're competing like with Amazon and things like that because you can get so much on Amazon these days. But I think I wouldn't buy furniture from Amazon just because you know you don't get to really see it in person first. Like I'd rather go somewhere that I can actually sit on the chair, feel what it looks like and then buy it. But yeah, very, very interesting stuff. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.